If you're familiar with the bigger medical or tech YouTubers like Karma Medic or Ali Abdal, you know they've spoken time and time again about taking notes in med school using their iPads. Well, my name is Johannes, I'm a final year med student and I do not own an iPad. <laughs> this is how I take notes using the Samsung Tab S6 Lite. So first things first, I've been using the Tab S6 Lite to take notes for a few weeks now and it's safe to say that I have completely loved the experience. Aside from the fact that writing on the screen takes a bit of getting used to, it helps me declutter my bag quite a lot as instead of carrying notebooks for all my courses, all I've got to do is put my medical coat in my bag, grab my tablet and head out. Another huge advantage I've enjoyed is while heading to the university, I can revise the PDFs of topics for that day on a much bigger screen than my phone. This provides a much more comfortable viewing experience than reading on my phone and it extends to even reading other materials such as webtoons and even watching YouTube videos when I'm not home and less busy and the resolution of 2000 by 1200 pixels while not the sharpest lets me see everything in HD. Now let's get into the main reason you clicked on this video how I take notes on the Tab S6 Lite as a medical student. One of the most attractive features of the Tab S6 Lite is the S Pen. It doesn't have Bluetooth functionality like on the flagship Samsung tablets or the Note series, but it does come included with the Tab, unlike the Apple Pencil, which you have to buy separately. That being said, the Apple Pencil is a lot more refined and feature-packed than the S Pen here. But for a student who doesn't have a huge budget and wants to take handwritten notes, the S Pen gets the job done quite nicely. It has a side button which switches your pen to eraser mode when you hold it down and it pulls out the S Pen menu when the pen is held close to the screen and the button is pressed once. The pen also features a flattened side which prevents it from rolling around when placed on the table or a flat surface. It also functions to magnetically attach the pen to any metallic or magnetic surface. And unlike the big productivity YouTubers out there, I personally have no idea how to twirl a pen between my fingers. But if you're good at that sort of thing, this pen is about the same size and weight as a normal pen, making it perfectly twirlable. I'm sure a lot of you who take handwritten notes on tablets have your favorite apps such as Evernote or Notability. However, since this video is all about the Samsung Tab S6 Lite, I'll be talking about my experience using Samsung Notes as my primary note-taking app. As with most if not all Samsung apps, the Notes app is packed with features which in my opinion greatly improve the note-taking experience on the Tab S6 Lite. You have the basic functions like choosing your pen size, switching between your favorite pens, switching colors, erasing, and the type of pen, maybe a brush, a pencil, a highlighter, etc. You can also decide whether you want to erase by brush stroke or by area. You can choose which language you'll be writing in, in case your native language isn't English, you can also adjust the spacing between your lines using the option beside the cloud icon, which we will come to later. To the right of the screen, you have the option to convert your handwriting to text and copy the converted text to your clipboard. Another feature here is the ability to have your handwriting neatly aligned in case you need some help putting it in the right spot. That's what she said. <laughs> The cloud icon which I mentioned earlier is the lasso tool. This lets you select a portion or all of your text by drawing around it. When this text has been selected, you can then proceed to either resize it or move it around. The pen icon with a small T beside it gives you the ability to have your handwriting converted to text in real time if that is something you'd find useful. The penultimate icon to the right gives you the option to draw shapes and have them come out perfectly. This works with both 2D and 3D shapes. The last icon to the right locks the note so you can scroll freely without worrying about accidentally messing something up. So with all these features, taking notes on the Tab S6 Lite has been a largely positive experience for me and as a lot of people say that there are no decent Android tablets, I strongly believe Samsung have been doing pretty well for themselves with their line of tablets and the Tab S6 Lite brings a lot of value to a price point that is quite friendly for students. If you're not an iOS user or you're looking for an iPad alternative when it comes to note taking, you are not going to get much better than the Tab S6 Lite. But of course, some sacrifices have been made to bring it to such an affordable price. It doesn't have a flagship processor, the cameras are just serviceable, it doesn't have an official Samsung keyboard case, and there are some quirks here and there such as slow auto-rotation and the lack of a fingerprint scanner. So the only biometric available here 
is face unlock. But with all this said, let me know what you think about the Tab S6 Lite in the comment section right below the like button. And also let me know what you use for your note taking. Do you prefer handwritten or typed out notes? I'd be looking forward to hearing from you there. Please do subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And if you wanna see more videos like this, then you'll see them on the screen right now. Peace.